Today I spend 100 days in Satisfactory, a game that taught me patience while working towards different tiers in my hub, finding the cutest and cuddliest creatures in the game, and learning about a better means of transportation while exploring the vast lands of Satisfactory. The entire playthrough was streamed on my Twitch channel, Red Pandas Live. Links will be in the description for those who want to join. And without further ado, I spent 100 days in Satisfactory, and here's what happened. As I was ready to be launched from this weird space pod, I was watching one of the best training videos ever. Some might even say better than McDonald's. Oh, oh, more animation for this game. Yeah, let's go. And be effective. I'm ready. Bring it on, punk. Warning. Planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during Wait. full procedure. What? Atmospheric entry. And oh, no, 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 no. I, I don't like heights. Please, no. <laughs> okay, it's, it's fine. As long as I like, can't see where I'm going. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ooh. We're in, in the, uh, the, oh, 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 hello. You know what? This game is going to be gorgeous. I can feel it right now. Can I get out? <gasps> let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, hello. Is. Why God speed? We don't need God. I've got. Is this a scanner? Maybe. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector oh. in the binary star system of Akija. We do that? Did I dismantle? Oh. All important fix it data and communication is recorded and stored oh, in the codex. Oh, the hub. Steps. I do. Wait, no, I no. don't. According to fix it regulations. It is. Ooh, you could do the one two punch. One, two, punch. One, wait, one, two. Give me the tree. I want the tree. Oh, wait, what's happening? Why are we? Oh, I'm in build mode. Oh, V to scan. While being on the planet for a bit now, my initial thought was, how is this zapper going to kill anything? Hold on. I'm coming. I am. Oh, hello? Hello? Hostility. Advise you to harvest this specimen. Who's talking? I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Killed the sand demon. Oh, it wasn't dead? Turns out it was like 50 tasers into one. I may have felt unstoppable here, but my knowledge for the game was the complete opposite. Now I was watching out for slipping signs, learning to mine my first few nodes of iron, and finding out once again that this area wasn't actually safe. Ooh, that was fast. Oh god. Oh god. This guy sees. This guy sees. Get out of my base! <laughs> My face, what are you doing with them big chunky teeth? Get out of here. Look at those molars. Oh my god. The extent for my knowledge was about this much. There we go. Look at that. They said it couldn't be done and I made too many. Too, too many, not too money. <laughs> oh my god, they're just drilling. How do we even know how much this has? Is there like a number or something? Do you think this is enough so far? I got a couple more. Was I about to learn and understand the mechanics of this game, or would this game make me want to jump off a bridge? In game, okay? I meant in game. <laughs> all I did learn, however, was to use my phone as a paperweight while looking to craft up all the iron I had. Oh, look at that. What is that, a little universe, galaxy, something's happening out there? I don't know. Again, my terminology is going to be off. Please don't hate me if you do. Cool, bye. This game is beautiful, though. Holy smokes. Just looking out into the skies, the space there, all the stars little moons big moons i don't know what that is there we go that looks about right <laughs> with the process almost finished the next day and blisters on my thumb thank you very much i found a new recipe for this beautiful smelter how do we line this up can we like snap oh snap cool you can snap it snap it the problem now was me trying to take the next 15 or so minutes to figure out how to power these things it turns out that trying to connect the power cables to a generator with no power wasn't going to work. I was looking for anything until I found it. The leaves that would provide me with a solid source of power. Yeah, 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 that's right. We needed leaves. We go here, enter fuel, max capacity, and then all we do is... Apparently my brain fog took over and I just had smelters out. Like, what were they going to do without any actual miners? <laughs> The early parts of this game were painful, so please bear with me. Can we do a little bit of this now, please? Select milestone. Those bars or 
whatever those are, this, and maybe this. No, uh, there we go. Bam. Next upgrade. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, how different is it looking? Oh, wait, we got a little thing in here. You have unlocked <gasps> scanner we got a bed! Limestone. New buildings and recipes. Kitchen, which can be found a little in bathroom. Menu and craft bench, respectively. Cool, okay, got a Eat little objective. home. What took me quite some time, because now I actually needed the iron node, the portable miners had to go. Seeing that my inventory was always so full and no storage nearby, my best bet was building the storage containers. With that out of the way, I was now onto something else. Trying to figure out how the cables to the power lines work. Eventually understanding what went where and that the power lines only had four slots per, so I would have to be certain of what I wanted to connect next. With no plan whatsoever, I quickly set up another miner, linking a few belts to some storage containers and having a blast while doing so. All that took place today was myself going around and asking all the bushes for consent. I needed more leaves for power and the bushes had all the good stuff. I also found my way to some copper nodes and figured, hey, why not set up some miners here too? Sadly, I did run out of materials and needed to figure a way to get more. Building more automation always worked, right? My place now was definitely looking beefy and a lot less organized. Out of all the things needed or wanted, the biomass burners were next. That would give me unlimited power and finally break free from using the hub to power things up. Easy enough, I said. I had all the right things in all the right pieces. With just a few more connections being made through the builds, I finally had the power needed to give me my beautiful base what it deserved. Just like in Subnautica, I had a Karen who talked to me every so often, and she said the dirtiest of things. This is one of multiple edibles we have detected in your vicinity, which are within approved nutritional and medical categories as established by R&D. However, my eyes were set on some limestone now, and would you look at that? Super close to the hub. All I had to do was whip out my resources, build a miner on top, set up some belts down, and get to crafting the concrete I needed. All right, so we'll have concrete coming into here. This is going to craft the concrete, or we'll have to craft the limestone into concrete going in here as storage. We'll have everything. With my next goal as clear as day, the milestones were all going to be mine. Mine, I tell you, mine! By this point into the game, I was unstoppable. Felt unstoppable, like nothing could bring me down. It wasn't until I met her. The splitters and mergers, a force to be reckoned with, and one that pushed and pulled my relationship with Satisfactory. So as you can see here, I kind of changed things up. I did a little bit of uh, revamping of this place. Instead of going to the left, I went to the right and just right out. So I had everything built up here. I was like, hmm, things just don't feel that great. So I moved it all over here and it's actually just really simple. I'm testing something out. Oh, this ran out of power. Okay, so power is one we got to fix next. But apparently you just do the miners, which gives us the ore. Then you put the ore and it goes into the smelters. And then depending on what you want, you could do iron or copper. I think I have both irons here. And then the iron go into the next part. The next part is where you configure or you select a recipe you want it to craft. This one was crafting, what was this crafting? There you go. It was crafting plates, beautiful. This one was crafting these guys, which is going over here into those. And then it's coming out here. And I did another one. This is where I'm testing out the merger. So apparently the splitter splits them. Merger comes over here. The reason I did this though is because I think when you have one line for certain things, there's too much work going on. Like even right now, you see how it's like, there's still so much back there. Like I, I feel like I could split this up one more time or maybe split or have these going straight out. So it frees up some of that space. Oh, and I did the same thing here. So you know how it was just like one long line. Now with all that out of the way, it was time to get started in making some real progress. This meant taking the already placed stuff and extending everything I could with the copper back to my hub. Okay, so the way I did it before, hello. Don't get caught in my base, please. This is some weird stuff out in the distance. There's a lot of weird stuff in this game going on, but you know what? I love it. I absolutely adore this right now. Unsure of how to really set this all up or where to even start smelting things, I started pulling the resources I needed back to the hub, and from there on out, my smelters could start doing their jobs. Determined to figure this out because I needed copper wires, cables, and just so much more, I was truly planning out everything in my head, more than I ever had in any other survival game. Somehow I managed to get everything linked up and working. Man, this place, this thing has come a long way. My game, oh my goodness. We've got that we've got all the wires in there wires are coming in here too the reason i'm splitting up the wires now is so i can craft these wires down into cables 
instead of copper wires we'll have cables there we'll still have the wires there we have a solid source of our nails we might have to split these up eventually oh my god crazy man crazy let's see how are these doing still got tons of those still got tons of those this is crazy man and i need this for what do we need is that nail oh, sorry i keep saying nails screws you know what i mean oh, we need screws what I didn't seem to realize at the time was how big the map was for this game. I was on Tutorial Island, more or less, and had so much more to do. I placed down my workstations in a new area and got back to work. And by work, I meant looking for ways to find power slugs and other creepy crawlers in the game. Oh, see, there's, okay, so there, okay, so, oh my god. Can I have, can I house, please? Oh, what, what, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting that. There's got to be some sort of jetpack or something we get later on. All that was left to do was to hit another big red button. I'm talking like, <clears throat> hit it. Part for assembly. I'm launching another one. Man. Already. All friggin' ready. All right. Oh, this is what we were looking for. Okay, yo, there's a lot of stuff. Holy crap. So the assembler can craft two parts into another part. Oh, which is, wait, hold on. Crafting two parts into another part? I'm gonna have to get used to this, okay. Having everything the way I wanted it now, from copper sheets to adding more power supply in all of my builds, the one thing I didn't do was tell you about today's partnership. Not a sponsor, but that I've started working with gamer subs. And if you know anything about them, it's that they're freaking delicious. How delicious, you ask? There is something called a guacamole 5000. It's like a fart in a can, not actually a fart. Really good, really good taste. I've got, I've got some right here, actually. This cup, this, see this, look at this. Boom, this good. What? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> it's that good. It's so good. It's really good. So using my code ROP, which is pretty much Ray of Pandas, but ROP will get you a whopping 10% off and some delicious gamer subs. This has definitely been one of the coolest things in a while, and I hope you enjoy them. The biggest thing I started working on today was having more resources crafted up in all the automation. The biggest one being these reinforced plates that gave me the best type of upgrades for my conveyor belts. The majority of this game was all about using splitters and mergers, at least in the beginning, and knowing that, these would definitely come in handy. Oh, that's so cool. So it actually starts stacking. So no matter what, they will stack up and then they will just start crafting, which actually does help because it'll just continue. Like it doesn't stop if it's maxed out. It just like five. OK, I'll keep going to 25 to 35 to 105. Nice. I like that. And now we're making these things. Conveyor belt. Look at that. Ooh, I got a conveyor belt for almost everything now. Almost everything. I like how that works though. If there was one thing to make me happy the next day, it was my new toy. Loud as heck, but super satisfying. And no, get your mind out of the gutters, okay? It's not a submarine, okay? Man, this next upgrade, watch this. Watch what I'm about to make, okay? E I need, oh, I need the super platform. Crafting, come on, give me. I didn't even know this was a thing in the game. Even when I saw my friends playing it, I. Like, they didn't have anything close to this. Okay, wait, hold on. With this chainsaw, let's see if we can go cut some trees now. This is the thing I wanted. Let's see if this works. Oh! Look at it, look at it, look at it. Wow! 41 wood, 68. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Holy crap. Oh, it feels so good to use this too. What the heck? Everything I built up to this point, though, had a purpose and just looked super sick. Look at it. We got our copper coming from all the way outside. Thing over here. It looks like we need more power there. Oh, no, no, no. It's just whenever they take their time, they go yellow. If it's not crafting, it's like idling. Something I definitely learned a little late into the game was unlocking milestones. Nothing serious, but there was a little grace period before launching other milestones. For now, I felt like giving myself some time in the wilderness. What exciting things I would find, or maybe see? A weird alien thing with an impossibly smooth surface. <laughs> it literally says work in progress. Cool. Awesome. Look at that. Look at that thing. You see that? Look at that. Look at that big old thing over there. Hello? What are you? Are you cool? Hey. Oh, whoa! Yo, these are the things that create the poison. 
Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here there. Ow. Ow. Stop it. That's mother. Stop. Please. Mother, son of a god. Chicken nuggets with a flavor of raspberry bap skin getting baptized in the water pool of your mother's lord. Oh, you're dead. Just like my cable management under my computer, this base of mine was definitely in need of some organization. Lucky for me, I did nothing of the sort. What I did finish up was upgrading all of my conveyor belts from MK1s to MK2s. Oh! Ooh, I'd kiss you if I could, but I can't. Oh my god, thank you. All I had to do now was wait it out and really get a hang for what my base was doing. Everything was crafting up nicely and being filled into the storage containers. It also built up a slight pollution tab, but that was fine because I started adding more into my base. Also, I'm kidding. Pollution's not a good thing. Okay, there was a joke. A joke. Haha, <laughs> funny. But the results were also glorious. <laughs> Don't quote me on this, but I don't think I ever saw anything as big as this in a survival game before. I thought it was just going to be like a small thing. I think the biggest rocket I've ever seen was in Subnautica. This is... This is bigger. It... Hello? Oh, it's you. Wait, so what's supposed to go in here, though? Okay, okay, what did I do? I, I didn't even touch it. I didn't do anything. Oh, something's landing here. Is that a space station up there? Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, give me the lock-in satisfaction. Oh, 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 I get so satisfied with those lock-ins. Oh my god. What is this? Yo, what is happening? With this space elevator built, it gave me my next task. Crafting a new resource called Smart Plating. Not so sure how smart it was, but I was so ready. All it took was a few more belts to different crafting builds and voila, the beast was cooking. I was so ready for the space elevator to take me home. Sadly, it had other plans for me. One of them was actually ignoring me. Yeah. You are letting me inside of you. I, I, I am. You're allowing me to step inside the space station elevator thingy. All right. This is about to be the uh, best thing ever or the, mm, I mean, not, it's not the worst, but like, that's cool. Oh! Seal? Oh! Woo! We, we like shot it into space or something. Holy crap. Phase two, it, I need 500 of them? Oh my god, good luck. Good luck. Yeah, okay. I need 500 of something else and 100 of something else. Yo, that took way too long. Oh my god. Giving this tall, slender beauty a look at again, I was so not ready for phase two. Half the stuff I had no idea of, and I was already struggling with my power supply. My plan now was to expand more of the base. You know, stuff like finding more iron about, placing a miner for some iron and splitters around the area. Surely this would get the ball going. Somehow I forgot what was happening during this next part because of how I was so locked in. I had a miner with two smelters and many constructors. I truly don't remember what I was doing here, but it looked pretty cool. Okay, I think I got it now. I was still looking into crafting the reinforced plates and this used something called an assembler. All I need needed now was to build some more biomass burners and get these bad boys filled. This would be the first time I actually learned about breaking fuses too, and needed to really watch how I placed or connected the cables around. As I built everything on the first side, so I would do on the second. Okay, I legit just copied what I built on the first go around. This was the beautiful chaos that did become my builds. Based in all of the above. Learning from friends, learning how to mess up and fail and then fail forward, I kind of took what I learned so far, and this is what I got. Look at this. We got all the nails we would ever need and so much more, literally so much more. So it always just a constant source. Nothing stopped. It's literally just going forever. Same for the plates. Hopefully that ends up being the same thing for this as well. We have all the bars coming in, all being crafted down into nails. 
the best part about this is like these were all going to be nails, right? And then they'll split off into different like sections and stuff. Even the other side had really come together. What I started to focus on next was copper. Finding the nodes close by was easy. Building all the parts up was even easier. But I did get caught up in trying to farm more leaves and trees around. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment Doggo down below. The greatest thing about my copper location was how I finally got things situated. The conveyor belts were already around from Lasco, and the power lines made everything move into production. Everything about all these power lines really started tripping me up though. My cables were a mess, and I kinda knew it. Anyone ready for some waterworks? This finally gave me a step up from the biofuel burners, but now beg the question, where had all the water gone? I'm gonna be honest too, didn't know we had a flashlight in this game. Like I know games have flashlights, but why is it on B? Why is flashlight starting to become a B? Why not just make it F like it's normally, like, like it normally is supposed to be? Oh, hello. I wanna pet it. I wanna pet the little doggo. Oh, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Let me pet the doggo. Let me pet the doggo. It's okay, it's okay. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Let me pet you! Come here. Come here! Oh! We're cool, we're cool, we're cool, we're cool, we're cool! I'm trying to pet you! Just stop moving so I can pet you! Ooh, big body of water. Holy crap. Big body of water. This is beautiful. Please don't be anything dangerous in the water. Ooh. All right, cool. Oh, there we go. Okay. Seeing just what daddy'd ordered, I needed to get some cold cooking, using some belts afterwards as I guided them into some very important builds here. Please don't judge me for how bad this looked, okay? I was trying to make stuff work. What I needed to do now was find a way back to my hub. You got some wrecks here? What is that? Hello? You can imagine what I did next. It involved a staircase to the heavens, or well, in my case, to the mountaintops. I'm gonna be honest, they told me I couldn't go to the spacecraft, the space elevator. Well, I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna see what it is about, okay? All right, I got my uh, bridge. This is so cool, I'm not gonna lie. Building in this game is actually a lot of fun. And it's so easy, they made it so easy to build for, like you don't need to go up above and try to do some weird angle stuff. They made it so easy, everything snaps together, it's nice. Even with the basic stuff right here, like I can buy new, upgrades of the different builds and different angles oh there's 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 a lot there's a lot and i'm liking it the game's getting better getting better and better this is great this is fantastic admitting this was hard because normally i love going in blind but i watched every single youtube video i could or at least the ones i could find learning about how the coal generators worked was one of the most grueling processes ever and even when i thought i was close it knocked me back down I even found a cool way to build them, and that just made the most sense at the time. Next, I was attempting to connect all the conveyor belts in hopes of feeding all the coal I would mine up from each of the generator. After that, I was looking to find a way to connect all the piping I had. The water had to fill each generator specifically, but the plan here was two water extractors per coal generator. What I was hoping for right now was to have my coal generators working. The only source of power I had at the moment were these biofield generators in hopes it would jumpstart everything. Somehow I was able to get one side working and then immediately break it. So I decided on making a bigger production of energy because that always fixed everything. If something didn't work, make it twice as big. Taking a quick look back at my base, things seemed too good to be true. Stuff was also starting to break and I didn't have the slightest of clues what was happening. While trying to understand what was actually going wrong here, I couldn't figure it out. As much as I want to get this power going, I really have no idea. I've, I've literally been trying everything and I just keep either messing something up or I have no idea. In hopes everything kept going, I was curious to see what other parts were needed now. Phase 2 space elevator, here I come. So we're going to more frame stuff, more frame stuff, so we really need to get coal power going next which kind of sucks because then we go into steel production and i don't even i dude i'm trying to get my wings and bearings on this thing already oh my god <laughs> soon enough i wouldn't have to run around like a madman filling biofuel burners anymore with a new day here looking to take the metal rods i had and bringing them over with a conveyor belt afterwards i decided to split up the rest of what i had and build some nails having every resource was the most important thing to me the initial conveyor belt i crafted up was also used to help craft up more advanced resources my next little trip took me and my chainsaw cutting down more trees and gathering the rest of the leaves i could filling all sorts of power sources around the place i had way too much and as you could see it took me a good chunk of time knowing that gathering leaves needed to stop i really had to double check on my coal generators so we have all the coal that's filled into the, the coal things. They're off because we don't want them on just yet. We need to power the water and get the water going to the tubes to fill up so everything's full. And when I get that going, 
hopefully we're good to go. What I didn't realize at the time were my generators needing a little more thought put into them. Something was slowing down and I couldn't figure out what was happening. The idea now was to put the power lines behind the generators and then attach two cables to each one. It seemed to be working well enough from the looks of it, but eventually it would come to an end. Later on, my plan to fix this was splitting the load in which the coal went into the generators. I had all 12 generators linked up, but what if I could split them into six per side? Okay, I think six is the max you can use. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think six is the max we can use because there's so many of them. All of the coal is going to go down and then it gets split off into each one. But by the time it gets over here, there's no coal left and this is going to be zero or this is going to be next to nothing. 87 already. Yeah, this is not going to get any coal, really, because by the time it splits down all the way, there's, going to, there's not going to be anything left. Oh, my God, that's why I was running out. This meant I needed another coal node, though this would have to wait because I had something else planned for the rest of the day. Oh, right here. Look at that truck station and tractor truck station so we just need more of those and the plates oh i have legit everything over the hill and far away away we go Woo -hoo -hoo. that good so no power fuel which is i don't know how we're getting gasoline can i put no wait what about wood press f to, oh that's me hey look it's me guys hello hi my name's steve f to load cargo let me go! Come on, man. What is happening? Open record menu? Why do I want to record this? Excuse me? <laughs> is it like a like a GoPro? <laughs> Change camera? Oh, oh, it just goes back. Oh, no, it's a solid. I like this one. The next day was all about filling my biomass burners up. They just needed a little more topping off, and then it was onto the shop. All right, I got 19 coupons. What can we buy? Let's see. Can we buy fuel? Oh, see this? Okay, you know what? I gotta have this. I, how do you uh, add to cart purchase? I'm not buying this in real life, right? Nope. I all think of buns. Oh, this is so cool. I feel like I'm at the fair. How do I? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, that, that's, oh, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> that's so interesting. All right, now I'm like the professional people who play this game for realsies. Look at this, I got my cup of coffee, enjoying a nice day on in, in Satisfactory. <laughs> While doing everything I could with a cup of hot cocoa in hand, I didn't know it, but I accidentally put fuel into the truck dock, trying to understand what I just did. Oh! What? Oh! <gasps> Can I go over it? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm going over it. You can't stop me. This is my game going over it again <laughs> come on come on baby come on come on don't get stuck come on do it yes 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 go 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 come on come on come on, come on. i'm damn stuck why why game oh my god there's gotta be like a push button or a reset or something go 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 climb 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 <laughs> i'll take it as a typo Headed back towards my coal generators, I wanted to do a 360 no scope 420 blaze it because the big bridge meant super cool trick, right? What I started to build next though would slow everything down. These lifters looked pretty and let me and my beast pass through, but the coal production wouldn't be at 100%. With all the changes made to the coal generators and conveyor belts, I had every part of my body crossed for a solid power source. I also built myself a bridge across this one location. Looking back at the cable management and thinking, who the heck did that? <laughs> wasn't me. I also managed to pick up some more plates for my MK2 belts and doing exactly just that, adding all I could to this new coal node. I spent a bit of time watching the coal finally picking up and just sat and waited around for everything to be filled and hopefully ready to work. The next few days I spent trying to figure out my cable and power line placement. I tried everything my brain would allow me to think or come up with. Knowing basics about circuitry wasn't my forte, but thank the heavens while playing this game or streaming it, Ray Panda's live on Twitch. I had a friend help me out a bit here, at least with the basic understanding of circuitry. I think I figured out the failure point. How many poles are you leveraging? Effectively, it should be a one by one with end caps in between each line. Okay, so for each generator, each like water generator or the coals connect the prior pole to the next pole like go here we connect this one bring another one there's no way it could be this easy and then do the same thing for the coals and then just like link them up like a circle do i have to link these up way over here 
or just do the same thing on the opposite sides. Oh, so connect them at the end too, okay. Even if this doesn't work, it, it still makes sense and like that's enough for me, man. That's enough for me. Oh man, this better work. <laughs> oh, if this works, I swear to God. All right, so water is filling up regularly. Yup. Um, hold on. Okay, so let's check out this one. We'll check out the powers. What is it consuming? Is it is the consumption the uh, the biofuels? Those other like smaller sources of power are still consuming stuff. So that might be the yellow line. See what you taught me though is like it's so simple, but it's like <laughs> okay. Well, so far so good. Thank you so much. The last thing to test out was if this would be enough power to bring back to my other locations. Oh, I have to get rid of all these poles though. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna. Do you know how to read this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure how to, how I read this. Like before, it was different because I kind of knew like where things were coming from. But I don't really know. <laughs> Still, don't know what's being used or not. I maybe like I'm afraid to go back and check and then just see the other stuff just like faltering. But I mean, if I can get this to connect everything, that'd be great. I don't know if I have the power for it. The yellow lights are fine. Did I not connect this one? Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Hold on, okay, so this one is connected to that and then it extends. This one's connected to that one. So those two are good. Oh, there was five here. One, two, three, four, f oh, okay, okay. That's my bad. I, this is the biggest one I was coming back to because this place is the one I needed the most resources out of. So everything is solid, I think. Oh my god. Oh. Not even kidding. There's so many times I wanted to quit even during this stream. <laughs> I just didn't want to play this game anymore. Oh, it looks so good. With a bright and beautiful morning ahead of me, I was driving my truck back towards the hub. I felt it was time for another milestone. But which one? That, that, and... Oh, easy. E grab button. <laughs> uh, how do you make a Xeno Zephyr? Oh, come on. Why do I need those plates, man? This was that outcome, and man, was I loving it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, son. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna go find something to bash. Hey. Oh, wait, that was only three hits. Oh, dang. Yo, cut it out. <laughs> it's so strong. I know, right? I know. Oh my god. Why are you so strong? While looking to expand and use the power I now had, my truck and myself had to thread the needle. Making it fit finally, I was looking to gather and bring as many power lines as I could back. Slowly linking everything to my new source of power, I had this bad feeling in my gut like somehow I'd accidentally break something again. Today is when I learned about steel production and felt the overwhelming nausea that took over. What do you know? I was right. It seemed that the coal just wasn't being mined fast enough and the last two to three generators just didn't get enough to keep the power going constantly. Having to wait around again for most of the day, mind you, I did my absolute best at trying to figure out my mistake. Everything was breaking down and I only had a few attempts left in me. The last thing I did for the night was building myself two miners, one being iron and another for coal. This would be the best setup for what came next. The pace at which I learned more about this game was really slow, but I also learned so much more than I ever thought I would. This being another learning moment for me about researching. I found something called shards, which allowed me to finally unlock something called the overclocking phase. I think I unlocked. <gasps> I did. Ooh. Oh my God. Overclocking. Holy crap. That's beautiful. Soon, all of the power would be mine, and I would be able to craft so much faster. As the new day was upon me, I just simply waited around, looking for my generators to fail or something to happen. Now it's the coal. The power's fine. The power sources, I think I've figured it out. A lot of help, of course, not by myself. But everything is going in a great way. It's set up properly. It's just the coal needs to be serviced faster somehow. Or at least I have to get rid of these like things that are creating like those little seconds off. I don't know. I believe I have, I think I have one of each in here or two. There might be two in one of them. Two in this one. Okay. So right now clock speed is 200. I get 120 parts per minute, which is kind of crazy because if you think about it, this is actually like the miners MK2. 
because those give you 120. So imagine I had two overclocking things in that. Oh, it's game over. So hopefully this helps. I'm hoping it helps. I've reset everything. The coal is now officially like backed up. When this happens, you're good to go to reset the power. Out on the hunt the next couple of days, I found myself in a real pickle. Ooh, that's a yellow slug. Still need to figure out how to, or what like I craft those with or how to. All right, let's go, baby. Oh my god, 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 I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. I was kidding, <laughs> I was kidding, I was kidding, I was kidding, I was kidding. Um, I don't know how to get a tree back. Oh, I actually, can I eat these? Oh, you can, you can, you totally can. <laughs> I'm eating my nuts, I'm gonna get you in a second. Ow, what the fudge? Okay, 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 let me get the nuts, let me get all the nuts. All right, green. No, yellow yellow slug. Come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Also, I'm going to go kill that thing. That, that, is that a bigger one? It looks a little bigger. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it was bigger, and it almost killed me. Nuts, 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 nuts. In my mouth, nuts in my mouth. You're gross. Stop thinking like that. I know what you're thinking. Okay. Yeah, nuts in my mouth. Coming across a more desolate looking place, the next few slugs asked me to do some climbing. With my beady little legs, yeah, that definitely wasn't happening. I'm here, honey. Baby. Hello. Come to Papa. God. Yeah, I know, I know. Beep, 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 beep. It's there. Oh, this is making my stomach turn. Oh, if I fall, I swear to- Ah! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ha! Ha! Oh. Oh. This is an actual place? I'm here. What is this? I don't know. What's that? Oh, that's a poison thing. That's a poison thing. That's a poison thing. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, there's a lot of poison things. There's a lot of poison things. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. Let's not be here. Not be here. Go down. I feel like that's where I need, like, something else. Because that's all poison. Oh, my God. All that was left to do was build more shards and get that overclocking going for my builds. This only has one. So if I put two more, right? And then just go whoop. All right. Let's see if this works. We have a triple one going on that thing. So far, it looks good here. But again, like, we got to give it time to see if it actually does it. I just got to wait until that's all filled up so I can start the next side of that power. And once all this power is good... I think I can actually extend this line because of how much there is to my other one. Ooh, dang, look at this. It's completely full of these things. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and soon enough, it'll get backed up to the point where these start crafting a load of amounts here. Yeah. I gotta finish this up. This is gonna be my little area for the steel. Because I need two new things to come out of this. Oh, okay, so power source broke. I was definitely losing my mind again. The power was something tough to understand, at least for my brain. This was mostly about figuring out the coal miners and getting the biomass burners jump starting everything up again. With everything connected and looking green, was this my cue to finally take a breath? Or did I still have to tinker around? Only way to test all this out now was making it link up to my steel production. It's working. I've got the steel factory going. Look at this. We finally have these. Holy crap. Not done because there's obviously a lot more materials coming into play, but... At least with like the basic first four tiers. Throughout the night here, I made sure to upgrade as many conveyor belts as I could. This was the furthest I ever made it into this game. And man, I was just proud. Proud for not giving up and proud for going on stronger each time. Oh, I kind of waited too long. Hold on. What, what are we? <laughs> 300. Ooh. Upgrade. Boom, baby. Fire. We have advanced steel production. <gasps> the MK2 miners! Oh! Yes! MK2. Okay, the biggest thing is MK2 miners. These are going to be crazy. Because maxed out, we have, I think, 150 or something with the overclocking. And these are base minimum. 120 resources. So we're going to get over 200 per minute. This next material I was going for took a lot longer than expected. But the modular frames was a must-have. I'm going to need to give them all power shards. Or like the... Uh, yeah, power shards for overclocking. Having all the necessary resources, this was about to be the biggest and fattest button press of the day. And here we go. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Hey. 
Logistics 3, Milestone baby. Reached. Let's go. Logistics can be improved. Look at this. Conveyor belt 3. An enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. And then conveyor lift. Oh, industrial storage. Dang. We can have just one of these instead of doing the side by side for the other two things. Oh, that's going to be so nice. That's just danger down there. That's just scary stuff, man. And it wants me to... I'm going to do two, though, because I'm terrified right now. Don't like this. Don't like going into the abyss. Like, if something comes out of that, I'm going to freaking scream. Not even lying. Boom. All right. Give me another slug. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. I also see two baddies who want to die. Want to die today, punk? You want to die today? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Get out of here. All right, let's go. What I saw out in the distance was a sort of wreck. Something had crash landed and I needed to find out what it had. Pick up 204 wires? What? Even these are running so smoothly. Oh, you can tell. Look at, look how much they're backed up there. That's wonderful. This is good too. Oh my God. Curious to see and build the next set of miners, I had to craft up a bunch of industrial beams. It took quite a bit, but having a good 30 or so, I was so ready to witness the magnificence that this was. Oh, that's the drill digging. Oh my god, I thought something broke for a second. Alright, so there is going to be that weird gap right here. Hopefully it can catch up in time. So right now it's 120. If we put these back in and shoot for the star. 300! 300 parts per minute! Look how fast it's going! Look how fast this goes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's going too fast! I can't even see. There's not going to be much space in between at all. This game is making me think way too much, man. It's, <laughs> it's making me think way too much. Like, look at this! It's trying to push the other one out of the way because it's just like, get out of my way! There's too much on the belt. <laughs> look how fast that you can see right here. It's just like, get out of my way! What are you doing? Go! 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 And it's just like so. Oh my god. See, now they're spacing between, which is a good thing at this point because it's going too fast. So finally, they're at the right pace. But gosh, we just need to get those. Look how fast they're going. Oh my God, that's crazy, dude. Just before the night was up, the MK3 belts turned this base into something slow to gotta go faster, 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 faster. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Having unlocked all the resources for tier four and still in need of finishing phase two, I was thrown back a bit again. I managed to grab my copper wire belts and extend those into a splitter, grabbing the next material needed, which was the alloy looking tubes and setting an option for this build and looking to upgrade. By the end of all of this, I had no sense of organizational skills, okay? But instead had the skill of completion. I mean, just look at all this stuff. I built that. Between the automated wiring, the rotors for motors, and now the stator, I almost had it all. I think what I'm going to do though is bring the concrete over there so I can keep the uh, MK3 belts at a more higher rate. Because if I bring the belts all the way over here, they're all going to be on the platforms. There's nothing in the storage. So I think that's what I'll do. And I'll just do like MK one so i have enough room all i had left to do now was grab a bit of concrete and deliver it to the mk3 belts being crafted today i was on the hunt for more coal something closer to my hub but this would be a bit trickier seeing the coal on what seemed to be a floating island this was my chance so i began building a bunch of platforms across the way making it safely thankfully building up a bunch of conveyor belts for what would be combined with the iron ore here all i had to do now was go back to my steel collection and wait for all the extras to be cooked up this is what everything started to look like. From basic materials to all the advanced stuff and just so much more. I had conveyor belts. I had it all, man. I wasn't sure what to start on next or where to go from here, but I just knew I needed to have one of everything. The hardest part about this milestone, tier four, was working towards this versatile material. I needed so much more than I thought. And on top of that, my productions weren't as fast as I'd hoped for. Milestone one, please be done, please be done, give you here you go, take it, bye bye go away. Milestone reached. And then we just gotta wait, I need all of milestones done, alright? This one is next, here you go, here you go, here you go. I have one more milestone, oh my god, then phase two, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Since I was in the area the next day, I was tempted to try something up for science. I want to eat enough nuts. I'm going to eat all the nuts. So we're going to get to like a low HP and see if we can eat our way out of it with nuts. Can the nuts survive the poison? Can I beat the poison with the nuts? Let's see. We're going to get close. Let's say two and a half, right? 
Do okay. Go 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 go. Can I beat him? Go go. Come on, come on, come on. My finger's getting tired. Oh oh! I forgot. I forgot. My bad. My bad. You can! You can beat the poison! You can beat the poison! Ah, uh, dancing in the poison! Dancing in the rain! Oh, you can't take me, sir! Nah! But I went through a lot of nuts! Oh! Nuts can survive the poison! You ever wanted to survive poison? Just eat nuts! Today was also the most special day because not only did it involve a lot of nuts, but it also involved something that looked like a really big condom. Okay, so we have that. I think we gotta do entrance. Oh, it does need to be powered too. Mm. Oh, it's sucking, guys. It's sucking. <laughs> do you ever need it? Have you ever wanted a good suck? Do you need a good suck? Well, I got a good suck for you. Not me. I'm not. I ain't doing that. Mm -mm, that's weird. Get out of here. I'm talking about these tubes. I don't know what they're doing, but they're gonna suck me up. Woo! <laughs> oh my god. Yo, look at us go. Zoom in, we zoom in out here. Look at me go, baby. Oh god, this is crazy. Oh, it feels like a roller coaster. That's great. I don't even go to Wonderland. Pay eighty dollars for one day? Uh-uh, no. I can just play a game and save money. All my money. Oh my god, <laughs> this is great. Oh god, that's not. Did you see my body? It just went ragdoll. So I gotta power this one too. Okay. So they don't. We don't need the stacking. Look at it. Look at it. It's all sucked up. Oh, baby. Whee! <laughs> oh, my God. This is. <laughs> Love it. Oh, crying. <laughs> Actually, tearing up. Oh, my God. This is just beautiful. It saves me so much time. And I get a nice view of the base. And it's just. This was the moment I realized I was doing everything wrong, thinking that the extra steel bars were good, which they were, but I thought it would be more efficient to craft them and then store them all along the production lines. I was sadly mistaken and I totally forgot about manual crafting by this point in. All right, is it done? Is it done? Is it done? I'm drinking my cup of joe. <laughs> Ooh, it is a good cup of joe. Ooh, I like that joe. I hope it's done. It better be done. If it's not done, oh, it better be done. It better be done. It's one, two, fifty. We need another half of that. All right, well, I'll be right with you guys in a minute, second, sort of. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Having all the steel bars I did now, this would get me that much closer to tier four. But also finding out another cool thing about my big old condom. <gasps> you could turn around. What? Nobody told me that. I thought it was just a one-way street. Oh, my God. Look at it. Woo! Uh -huh. Nope. That way. <laughs> nope, this way. Or that way. Hey, hey. <laughs> the next day, I started exploring my little sleeping area. Oh, wait. This game has a game in, in the game? How do you play? Um. Oh, wait. Is this Tetris? No friggin' way. Oh, it's one of these games. I've played this before. Um, hold on. How do you. No, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back. How do you. How do you move that? How do you move it? I wanna move it. Hold on. Let's try that again. All right. Um, okay, so you can't rotate them is the only thing. Okay. Okay, so we have to do it as fast as we can. I didn't know that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so that was kind of good, right? We got two Star Wars, three. Oh my God. Okay, get out of here. While picking up as many steel bars as I could, you aren't going to believe what I figured out here. That's right. I was able to manually craft. Like I said a few days ago, I should have really looked at this a lot sooner because there was a lot of stuff I could have crafted myself and... Sadly, just waited many, many hours for. <laughs> it seemed like this was going to take forever because the versatile material took an absurd amount of time to craft up. I didn't have the fastest system going for my tubes, so things were slower than average. That said, I inched closer and closer to what I wanted, nay, needed. This was about to be the coolest thing ever, and man, was I ready to take on the next few tiers. I, I think. We are so close to this, man. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We're so freaking close. Like, we actually are. This is taking forever. Because, like, it, it, you can automate everything and get the process going. But at the same time, like, it only goes so fast. But here we go. Let's put it all in there. We need... Oh, my God. We need 12 more. <laughs> I need 12 more. Here we go. 
ceiling crate. Wait, there we go. Okay, okay. Ceiling crate. Good, good, good. It's loaded in, and now we will send it off to space. Here we go. <laughs> oh, God. We got to make so many more new things. That's fun. Look at it go. Look at it go. Look at it go. Oh, man. Oh, mama. Oh, man. Oh, I don't even want to look at that. That's gross. 2,500 of those. Mm, do I look at it or not? I think you guys want to see it too, right? I'm kind of curious as well. And we made it this far, so... There is oil, refinery, valves, plastic, rubber, petroleum, circuit boards. Okay. Scanner, new shop products. There is gas mask filters. Okay, that makes sense. Packagers. What? Okay, empty canister, packaged water. I don't even want to play this game anymore. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to put this in the comments too. If you've made it this far though, I'm just going to say this right now. If we get this video to 10k likes, I'll do another one or continue this one. But I think for now, I, I need a break. I need a big break from this. This game has made my head... Wow. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I made it this far. I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of nervous just because this game has been something, if not really good to me at times and then really bad just because i don't understand something overall it's been so much fun this is my last day this is 100 days again i didn't think i'd make it here but with that said just guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you for still giving me your support and just love for each video i really do appreciate it i read every single comment i'm going through my comments right now to try and catch up to reply to every single one or at least the majority of those that I can where it's, you know, something I can reply to. But with that said, thank you guys. I love your faces so much. You guys are honestly my world. YouTube is the best thing ever that's ever happened to me. And just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, this is Ray Pandas signing out. Bye guys. Bye buddy. See you later.